to lockdown or not to lockdown? That is the question dividing businesses now, as cases of the Delta variant of COVID-19 grow by the day. In a strongly worded statement, the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry said, a knee-jerk reaction to declare a lockdown will cause the loss of hundreds of thousands of jobs again. Meanwhile, Employers' Confederation of the Philippines or ECO President Sergio Ortiz Luis slammed Okta Research Group for suggesting a two-week circuit breaker lockdown as soon as possible. Okta says Metro Manila is already in the early stages of a search, which the DOH has refuted. If they're just the hell there to help, why don't they advise uh, a DOH or IATF and, and at the media? Are they accountable if people die because of the hard luck? If people get hungry, if there is chaos and there is criminality. But presidential advisor on entrepreneurship Joey Concepcion is fully behind Okta. He said it's better to implement a lockdown sooner rather than later and that August would be a good time to do it as it's known as Ghost Month, a time when business activity is muted. Meanwhile, semiconductor industry leader Dan Lachica says while everybody is worried about Delta, any decision must be measured. If it's not a measured decision based on data, we might be shooting ourselves in the foot again. Even National Task Force Advisor Dr. Ted Herbosa is calling for restraint given the economic impact of any restriction. I think what's important is really to look at where the clustering of cases are because to call for a citywide lockdown is uh, very much uh, cause ill effects mm. to the economy. Trade Secretary Mon Lopez has said several times that micro, small and medium enterprises can no longer afford another massive lockdown. I'm Pamela Vasquez and we are One News.